everyone! Welcome back to my Let's Play of uh, March in Forest, Mjolnir, and the Forest Gift. Sorry, I sound a little exasperated at the beginning there. I actually uh, just did a whole episode and realized I wasn't recording the entire time, so I'm a little drained. But that's okay because the episode was getting a little unorganized anyways. Um, I was trying to do the trivia. It turns out there are two more additional rounds we can do. Um, and I should be able to do it now. I kept getting questions wrong because I was trying to Google them, but it was kind of a mess. But anyway, so last time we left off, we were fighting uh, an alien, which was not what I expected. But it was fun to finally get a taste of combat. And today we're going to just kind of uh, go around and try and get more ingredients. Figure out what to do with these freaking meal vouchers. I don't know what to do with them. Um, I did, uh, in my uh, when I was recording... Or not recording earlier, I should say. Um, we can give the straw, do straw doll to the chef. So I think we'll go do that really quick. Um, I also fished and got like three new fish. But now I don't have them anymore. So that's okay. Um, I could have just, you know, picked up. Like after I had done all the stuff. But I want to show you guys everything. So I think she's just being creepy. Yep, make sure you keep with you always. Hello. Yes, I would love to give you ingredients. Sure. Alright, so let's see. Not the dizzy mushroom, not damp moss, not the onion, not the tomasi, not the melon, not the stem, not the carrot, not the root, uh, not the root, uh, not the sweet leaf, not the zinnia, not a carrot, jack o' lantern, uh, straw doll, yes. Of course I would never dream of using this for anything other than cooking. Certainly not taking it to bed with me every night. That looks like everything. Here's your meal voucher. Maybe I should give him a zinnia. And maybe having three meal vouchers will finally let me do something. Uh, oh, that reminds me. Let's try it. Uh, okay. Give ingredients. Sure. Uh, yes. Dizzy mushroom? No. Damp moss? No. Fly onion? No. Tomati, no. Stripey melon, no. Seaweed stem, no. Carrot, no. Mandragora root, no. River water, no. Sweet leaf, no. Zinnia, sure. Thank you. Uh, not the carrot. Uh, meal voucher, okay. Cool, I've got three. Oh god. I didn't mean to. Okay. This happened last time too. I accidentally picked a meal and I had to watch her make it for me. Oh god. Alright, Alice. I know. You're trying your best. It's okay. I wonder if she'll freak out if I'm like, yeah, I gave him the. I gave him the, uh. I did not keep it with me always. Uh, okay. I want to see if he'd, uh, not right now, take the uh, meal vouchers, but I guess not. Whoops. I'm just gonna leave that ramen on the table, it's fine. <laughs> do, 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 do. I really don't know what to do with the meal vouchers, honestly. Can I give three to the kids? The spirits? You guys want some meal vouchers? No. You want some meal vouchers? No. Let me get another zinnia. Yay! Got one! Could probably get another carrot too. Anything new? Just the bridge being fixed? Yeah. Alright, well, uh... Let's go try to do the trivia thing. Hello, I want to do some trivia, yes. Let's try and do it this time. I know the answers to like almost all of the questions minus like the one I got wrong last time. I've gone through it so many times, honestly. Um, it's time for those sort of blah, 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 blah. Okay, I'll do my best. All right. Uh, in the story Alice's Adventures in Wonderland, who sits atop a mushroom smoking a hookah? That would be the caterpillar. Correct. Uh, question. What is the name of the god said to have punished humanity with the crop-devouring fungi- fungal-diseased wheat rust? 
Oh god, okay, hold on. Sorry to have to look something up in the middle of the Let's Play. I was hoping I wouldn't have to, but he keeps pulling these new questions out of nowhere. Let's see, God who punished uh, humanity with crop devouring fungal... Oh wait, with, with wheat, wheat rust, I should just call it that. With wheat rust, rust? <laughs> Uh, Rebigus. The hell is that? I've never heard of that name before in my life. Yeah, Google was correct. <laughs> Alright, stop pulling new questions out of the air, please. Uh, which of the following glows? It's the Moonlight Mushroom. Correct! Uh, you got them all! Yes, I was like, I thought I did. Bring it on! Three more! Okay, question time! Uh, sometimes called strawberries and cream or devil's tooth. Okay, that's bleeding tooth. We know that one. From way back in the day. Alright, here's a freebie! Uh, mushrooms are everything I love about this world. Correct! Nice. Okay, uh, why are female boars used to hunt for truffles? They have sharper noses than dogs. Truffles are their favorite food. The scent of truffles resembles that of a male boar. Who the actual heck would just know this off the top of their head? Okay. Uh, piss, because they have an excellent sense of smell. Oh, and they are beckoned to the truffle because it contains the hormone found in the saliva of male pigs. Okay, well, sure. Maybe that's right, I don't know. <gasps> it is! Alright, oh, incredible, you got them alright. Here, take this, my budding mycologist, you've earned it. Golden mushroom, it's the shiny as a trophy, yay! But don't go thinking you're done yet, the way of the fungophile is an ah long and arduous one. You want to try hell mode, which has killed me many times. Plus nine questions, sure. Ugh. I thought it just froze. Question time. What should you keep in mind when storing them in the fridge? Keep the caps upside down, apparently. I did. I have never seen someone do that. Okay. Uh, what does a candy cat mushroom smell like? Apparently maple syrup slash curry, which those two aren't that similar to me. Correct! Very nice. Alright, question time. Which of the following mushrooms are poisonous? Oh, Jesus. Alright, sorry. Let's see. Is a fly mushroom poise... Oh my god, I cannot. Poisonous. My Google's gonna be like, why the hell? It's a fly agaric is... A, although classified as poisonous, reports of human deaths resulting from it. Fly Agaric. Yeah, there we go. Wow, there we go. Nice! Oh god, I'm so nervous. I just want to pass this. Uh, which one has been successfully artificially cultivated? It's Shimeji. Apparently, they've artificially made it. Uh, that's bizarre to me. In 2020, which is how recent this game is. Okay. How many different species are found in Japan alone? I got this wrong three times. 5,000, apparently. It's a lot. It's incredible. Alright, which mushroom is known to have been a favorite of the Emperor? Caesar's mushroom. Got that wrong before, but not this time. Good eggs. How many more? Is it almost over? What do you call mushrooms that grow in a circular formation? Fairy rings. I know more about mushrooms than I ever wanted to know now because of this game. You're a funky new bee. Oh yeah, oh, we know this one. Hit the books. Look it up. Google it, as I do. Correct! Is it over yet? Oh god. Which country produces the most mushrooms in the world? Okay, it's not Japan, because that's what I guessed before. Uh, is it China or the United States? Let me see. We are the largest producer in the world of fresh mushrooms. Interesting. Okay. Oh my god, are you kidding me? 
Oh no! All right, oh, God, I'll do it again. I'll catch you guys when we succeed. Okay, so we should be getting close to having nine correct. So hopefully this ends soon. Uh, which could you eat in real life? Ah, oh, Jesus. Hold on. I mean, that's the only type of mushroom that showed up. Okay. It seems kind of poisonous, but that's fine. Uh, the largest is about... Largest species... Oh my god. Specimen of honey mushroom discovered in Oregon, America is how large? 2,400 acres, apparently. Not a single mistake? You're incredible! Here, I've got a special present for you, my little mushroom maestro. You got the eternal mushroom, shrooming till the end of time. Oh, damn. That seems fancy. Finally, God, that took forever to get that. I'm gonna go save because I'm traumatized. I never want to hear about mushrooms ever again. Ever again! If there's any more beyond however many questions I just did, I'm gonna cry. Alright, let's save. Sure. Alright, let me think. I can get more mule vouchers from him by giving him the materials I know I can get more of. Like the carrot. Um, I don't know if I can get another tomati because like the guy just shoots the tree and it comes out. Um, I can give it a try and see what happens. Ooh, but really quick, I gotta I gotta go answer a call really quick. I'll be right back. All right, let's try giving him as many um, ingredients as we can. All right, everyone. So I actually looked it up just because I was a bit curious, and I guess you're supposed to give him any ingredient where he says a delicious ingredient. So um, I guess I'll give him. I believe this is the flying onion. Of course, I would never dream of using this for anything other than cooking. Uh, damp moss? No. Flying onion? No. Tomati? No. Stripey melon? No. Seaweed stem? No. Longevity? Definitely not. Mandragora? Sure. Oops, sorry, I don't play with my food. I <laughs> didn't read that. Sweet leaf? No. Zinnia? No. Carrot? No. Jack o' lantern? No. Golden mushroom, no. Turtle mushroom, no. That looks like everything. Here's your meal voucher. Thank you. So kind. All right, how many do I have? Do I have four? Uh, let's see. Yep. Okay. So cool. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Okay. Very cool. Um, I guess, so, like, that's supposed to help you determine what you're supposed to be putting into your, uh, your potion. The guide I happened to glance at also said, like, I should, you should, like, get a lot of fishing out of the way. Uh, which, uh, let's fish for a couple things. I probably skipped earlier, I did fish, and then I realized, uh, that the ingredients that I gave away were not good, so... Third time's a charm, right? Gotta bite! Da, 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 da. Oh, I wasn't looking at the screen. <laughs> Big fish? Oh god. Is that good? I haven't seen that before. Ta da! Ooh. I caught a bumpy head. Uh, you took the bumpy head's print. I hope it didn't hurt when it bumped its head. It's a new record. You've reeled in the biggest fish. This is quite a catch. Thank you. Try my best. The guide suggested saving up for the the most expensive um, rod, I guess. Which is a lot, isn't it? Let me see. Yeah, 15,000 acorns? That's a lot of, that's a lot of acorns. How much does uh, this guy sell for? Oh, 1,500, okay. 
Well, uh, I might fish, uh, but I'll probably maybe speed it up to a video. Let's see if I can make uh, the potion really quick. Uh, wait, really quick. There's also supposed to be... I guess there was an item I missed. I don't know if it's, like, important. Um, I didn't, like, look up a guide to be spoilery at all. I just wanted to see if, like, I was misunderstanding something with the ingredients. Oh, there's supposed to be something, like, here, apparently, but there's just this weird thing that I keep reading. Alright, well, it's fine. Okay, let's go and try and make the potion. I'll save and try and make the potion just in case I break the game. And I keep making accidental bad decisions. <laughs> it's a curse. What can I say? Oh man, okay. I'm playing for many an hour. Okay, let's save really quick. Apparently the meal vouchers are part of the recipe that you should be putting in, so let's try it. I hope there aren't any more of those. Yeah, the volatile materials. Yep, we're good to go. Alright, let's see. We read them all before, so... Oh, I guess there's a couple new ones in there with the, like, the turtle mushroom and the golden mushroom. That guy is so creepy. No, let's put in the ingredients. Damp moss, nothing new. Uh, flying onion. Uh, tomati. Uh, stripy melon, we've seen. Seaweed stem. Uh, oh, uh, here's the longevity carrot. You really need, start to need these when you get to my age. <laughs> uh, river water we've had. Uh, sweet leaf I think we had. Yeah. Uh, zinnia, yep. Good old Zinnia. Uh, Karoot, classic. Uh, jack o lantern also a classic. Uh, meal voucher, we've heard last time. Uh, here's a golden mushroom. Oh, this should give the brew some sparkle. Okay, here's an eternal mushroom. Ah, yes, an ingredient that will outlast the potion. Okay, here's a bumpy head print. Oh, God. Good heavens, would you look at that noggin? I feel like that was, uh, not... Oh, I'm very proud of you, Belly. This is excellent work for an apothecary at your age. Sorry, I skipped that line. I think you just said I gather a lot. Ah, this looks promising. That's good. Oh! Oh ho! This is... Cold Wind Bloom, an arcane potion! Once released, this potion will crystallize the water vapor in the air, causing the little crystals known as snow to fall from the sky like rain. I am astounded that you managed to brew the arcane potion that even my research failed to produce. With this, I can rest easy, knowing that I can leave this shop to you. Now, let's go give this forest its first snow, shall we? Melly, this time your efforts have earned you the title of... Accomplished Apothecary! Solid. Yippee! Trophy earned! Accomplished Apothecary! Come on, Grandpa, I want to try it out! Make it snow, make it snow... Very well, my child. You may release Cold Wind Bloom from here. Okay, Grandpa. Hop! Oh wow. Wow, it's so pretty. Yes, snow is very pretty and cold. At this rate, the forest will be covered in a white blanket by nightfall. The other residents of the forest are sure to get a kick out of this. 
Well done, Melly. I couldn't be more proud of you. And so the temperature forest saw snow for the first time in history. Enraptured by the sight, Milne stared up at the sky for so long that her neck began to ache. Her grandfather watched them from the side, beaming with pride. He was thrilled to have been able to show the young girl her first glimpse of snow. Oh. To say that the other residents of the forest were surprised at this phenomenon would be an understatement. But it was a happy surprise. The forest sprites frolicked about in the snow while the bard quietly began gathering firewood. The scholar proclaimed the piles of snow the biggest discovery of the century and got so carried away he tripped over one. Not surprised. As night fell over the forest, it was indeed covered in a blanket of snow upon which the inhabitants held a magnificent party. Snow party! The precious time seemed to them to be nothing less than a magical gift from the forest. Though it was bitterly cold and they weren't used to the chill, they were kept warm by the happiness in their hearts. Ah, Friendship is magic. Oh my god, look at the alien in the top right. Do you see him? <gasps> That's so creepy. Then a few days later, when the snow had begun to melt... Milne and the bard happened upon something in the forest. A dungeon? A discovery that led the young girl to embark on an entirely new adventure. Hold on, what's this? I can't believe it. It was hiding right here all along. The grass here is all withered from the snow. I guess it was hiding in the undergrowth? Yes, I see. Then Luna came here after all. Milne, I'm going to explore this cave a little. I'll be back in a few days, so please don't worry about me. Wait, wait, Mr. Bard! Hmm? What's this? He must have dropped it. Oh, this is a letter. It looks very old. I'm sure the Bard won't mind if I take a little peek. Let's see. I have finally located the Philosopher's Stone. Harry Potter? Uh, I'm going to head into the labyrinth beneath this forest to secure it. I left her, Milne, with an old gentleman who lives nearby. If I don't return, please look after her for me. Luna. Huh? Did you write this, Mom? This old gentleman. She means you, doesn't she, Grandpa? Ooh! Luna is the name of my cat. <laughs> And also Milne's mom. My word. Melly, I suppose it's about time you heard the truth. Take a seat, my child. Milne's grandfather finally laid bare the history of her past. On a stormy night nine years ago, Out of the pouring rain, a woman came knocking on the door of the old man's cottage. She begged of him, If I don't return, please look after my daughter for me. And with that, this beautiful woman with hair the color of tree leaves and ears like a cat vanished into the night. Luna! I had always intended to tell you this when you were old enough, Melly. It's okay. Thank you for telling me, Grandpa. 
And thank you for raising me, too. Don't be silly, child. We're family now. You need you don't need to thank me for that. I know. But still, thank you. I'm really grateful. You know, the letter mentions an underground labyrinth. But I wasn't aware that such a thing even existed in this forest. Still, considering the letter, it seems likely that your mother lost her way down there and hasn't been able to find her way back. Grandpa will just worry if I tell him I'm going to go down there, too. Yeah, I've never heard of it either. But I'm going to go look for it. Very well, my dear. But should you find it, be sure to come back here and see me before climbing down there willy-nilly. I knew it. Okie dokie. I will. Well, I'm heading out, Grandpa. I'll see you later. Sorry, Grandpa. Oh, just so you know, you'll always be my grandpa, even if I do find my mom. Oh, aren't you the sweetest. Now, off you trot. Right, see ya. To think, it's been nine years. She's grown into a fine young lady before I even had time to catch my breath. Ah. Finally, the dungeon is within our grasp. Oh. Marchin Forest, Mule Day, and the Curious Cavern. Ew. What the hell? What is going on? I'm so confused. That was a really cool, like, anime opening, though. Was that all just the introduction of the game, then? Oh, God. First layer entrance. Let me exit. Uh, yeah. We'll come back. We'll come back. Uh, it's been kind of a long episode, and I, I, I want to see if we're able to, you know, still, like, I wonder if I'm still able to, like, fish and stuff. I'm just curious. Because, like, I want to be able to fish and, like, get, like, better weapons? Or does it make me go right to the dungeon? Oh, okay, we can. Alright, cool, okay, so, yeah, I'm gonna end it an episode here, it's been kind of a long, weird, jumbled episode, like, I guess that was just the introduction to the game, so, now we finally get to do the dungeon part, and we'll pick up there next time, I'm really excited to try it out, 
Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you're still enjoying the series. Um, as always, feel free to leave a like, comment, favorite, or subscribe, whatever you guys are feeling. And until the next time, lights off, dark out.